Hi, my name is Luis Calvo and I'm an urban planner with MKSK. Welcome to our first community open house for the Downtown Columbia Strategic Plan and Design Guidelines. We'll walk you through some of the activities and the ideas for Downtown Columbia. Thank you for being a part of the Downtown Columbia Strategic Plan and Design Guidelines. Through this process, we are engaging with the Columbia community to create a refreshed vision for downtown's built environment. In this video, we will walk you through the materials we shared at our first open house for this plan, held on August 1st at the Convention Center. If you are unable to join us at this event, we hope you take a few minutes to answer a brief survey after watching this video. We will start by sharing some of our engagement results so far. Since February, the city has been hard at work engaging with the community at stakeholder roundtables, mobile workshops, and with an online survey. Through these engagements, we learned that Columbia residents love and are passionate about their downtown, though they see an opportunity for a more walkable, connected, and more welcoming district. Our engagement findings resulted in a series of key opportunities and challenges for downtown, shown in the list on the screen. These issues spur the development of six big ideas for downtown. The first big idea is to highlight downtown by building two urban trails that connect downtown's most popular destinations. Called the Capital and Vista Loops, these trails will offer a safe, accessible, low-stress route for local residents and employees and provide a distinctive linear park experience for both locals and visitors. This map shows a potential alignment for how these two loops will connect and highlight downtown Columbia's destinations, from Finley Park to the riverfront and the university. The second big idea is to refresh downtown, creating comfortable streets and public spaces that welcome visitors and support everyday living, with an emphasis on increasing downtown's tree canopy. The third big idea is to connect downtown. From our analysis, we know that a quarter of all traffic fatalities and half of all traffic-related injuries nationwide occur at intersections. By focusing on improvements to these intersections, we increase safety for downtown residents, visitors, students, and workers. The fourth big idea is to reclaim, reallocating right-of-way to strengthen business vitality and pedestrian safety. Downtown Columbia's wide streets have vastly more space dedicated for vehicular travel lanes than is required by engineering standards. The reallocation of right-of-way for pedestrians and cyclists, also known as a road diet, is a policy with proven safety benefits for all users. The fifth big idea is to champion downtown. Downtown Columbia is a unique geography that plays a significant role in the economic, cultural, and social life of the city. As such, it needs special attention, dedicated programming, and a focus on maintenance. The sixth big idea is to streamline the design and development process in downtown. Understanding that downtown is special, this plan recommends the creation of design guidelines to shape how future buildings and public spaces relate to the downtown realm. Together, these six big ideas will help downtown become a stronger, more welcoming district for all Columbia residents. Help us prioritize these big ideas and share any comments you may have by answering the survey questions in the link on the QR code or by visiting our project website. We look forward to hearing from you. I think these kind of meetings and these kind of changes to the city can have a huge economic impact because it's going to allow more people to get to different business districts by foot, by bike, be able to get there safely and also spend more money to drive the local economy and help our small businesses. But it's also going to help attract new people to our community and keep those folks, especially younger folks, in the downtown city center and spending money there, being there on their free time, being there for work, that kind of thing. Um, I like the highlight feature. Uh, I think there's a lot of really cool things in Columbia that nobody knows about. I would love to see in that highlight, in that trail, uh, public art, a, like a public art trail to highlight some of the amazing art that we have here that really doesn't get as much focus and attention as it should. So my favorite one was Refresh. And what that does is creates comfortable streets and spaces for everyday living. And in that concept, they will add more trees and sidewalk tabling. And I just think what downtown Columbia needs is a more comfortable space where we can all come together and be cool and be able to sit and enjoy our surroundings. Anytime our community is coming together and talking about it, it's always going to benefit Columbia. Um, what I'm seeing is lots of interesting, exciting things, 
holding on to the old, but make improving on it um, with more trees, more livability, more accessibility. Um, everything about it looks like a good way for us to pave the way for the future. I'm an avid cyclist, and I cycle all over town. And, um, you know, I'm retired now, but I worked at the State Museum for 25 years, and cycling to the State Museum has always been a very touchy thing down Gervais and past UG Street. And places like UG and Assembly need to be significantly fixed for more walking and biking. Uh, I'm one of the few people that's willing to take the risk. Thank you for participating in this process. Uh, please scan the QR code on the screen to take our online survey and learn more about the things we're doing for downtown Columbia.